Hey, it's Mike coming to you with another screen share video. I just wanted to uh, show you some results from tracking. Uh, you know, we done a video here a while back, and I showed you shared with you how to do you know check your uh, your blog and how to set it up with Google Analytics so you can check it every single day per month, whatever. Now, I don't check mine every day, um, and I think I mentioned that in the last video, but I do like to check it every month and just see what it's doing, kind of see where the stuff's coming from, the traffic, and what have you. And, you know, here's the thing I revealed in the last video. If you're not checking, or not uh, tracking, I should say, then you don't know if your blog is working or not. Because here's what a lot of people do. They start blogging. You know, we recommend blog every day about something. And a lot of people says, well, I'm blogging, and, and I blogged for three days, and I didn't get no results. Well, how do you know if you're not tracking? And that's that's the purpose of this video, to prove to you that, you know, when you set up your tracking and you don't, look at the small picture but you look at the big picture so in other words look on out there ways uh, just just believe for one that it's going to happen to you too because if somebody else's blog like myself and, and millions of other people and are able to make money doing it then so can you but you've got to track your stuff and when you track your stuff and then you open an email like this let me go back here okay see here I got an email it says Google Analytics it says review your Google Analytics website performance for July so I'm going to click on that. All right, so it says a snapshot of your website in July. This is my blog, one of them. And here you can say you can see where it says 148 visits, 70% bounce. Now here's what that means. It says here, your bounce rate shows how many people leave your site without visiting any other pages on your site. So in other words, people are just kind of hanging out on the main page, which is fine, and they're not really visiting other pages. That's okay. Now here's a way you can get people to visit other pages. And I'm starting to do this, but you can put a blog up, or excuse me, a video up on your blog, and you can just share with somebody, say, hey, right above here you can see the tab where it says, you know, whatever, uh, free gift, for an example. Go to that tab right now, click on it, and go over and get your free gift. You know, you can do things like that, too, so people will, you know, spend more time on your blog because that's how you're going to create a lot of value is, is, you know, creating a lot of value on your blog but keeping people on the blog, which is going to create sales, okay? Um, time on the site average is a, is a minute 17. I'm working on that to gradually get that up so that people are spending three, four, five minutes and longer on my blog, okay? So that's uh, that's the purpose of, uh, of tracking so you can see what's going on because if you're guessing and you're assuming that nobody's visiting your blog then it's short-lived and you're not going to keep doing anything to keep people coming and it's it's just never going to get traffic so uh, that's the purpose of this video to share with you what these stats what this tracking actually does for you uh, average pages it says here the average number of pages viewed in a single session so in other words a lot of people are visiting up to two pages on my blog. All right, so it says here, do you know you had 148 visits this month? All right, so down here is the countries that uh, of my audience, your visitors. So 94 visits, United States, 24 Brazil, 4 India, 4 Mexico, 2 Colombia. Then you can go on down here and you can see even more stats. So like here, <clears throat> excuse me, here is top refers. So in other words, where did your traffic come from? So it, it, it breaks it all down and shows you. And we'll jump over here in just a minute inside the, uh, the actual stats. Uh, this is just through an email. So Google Analytics, for one, it's free. For two, uh, it just works the best of anything else out there. So why not use it? And I've got videos to show you exactly how to put it up on your blog. So why not be using it? so that you can get these same results uh, for yourself and you can see where stuff's coming from and once you start seeing results and it ain't going to happen day one, it ain't going to happen uh, maybe the first 30 days, it depends on what you do, it depends on how much you actually uh, take your business, it's your business by the way, how much you take it serious. So here you can see MikePilcher.net which is my actual blog, 85 visits, direct visits 55, uh, six came from organic results in Google, which that's what you want. You want to get as much coming from organic. So in other words, somebody goes to Google, they search uh, how to blog. 
or maybe you've got videos and content up about um, how to post your first blog post uh, and they search something how to, how to blog or how to make a blog post and guess what they, they possibly land on your site here's another site that I've got uh, that visits are coming from so you can just kind of see it it's it's a great thing to have all of this information and like I said it's free it's okay so uh, here's 133 exits did you know 133 89.9% .9 people exited your site at home page see that's nice to know that way I can start doing videos I can say hey uh, go to the tab right above click on the page that says free gift and go get your free gift make sure you do that before you leave go up there do it right now click on it get your free gift before you leave you know something like that all right so let's uh, let's jump over here and let's get your location report so let's go visit it So this is the location. And see it just breaks all this stuff down for you. Just such, such good information to have. So, you know, you got the US, Brazil, you got all these different stats, sessions, new sessions. See here I had 60.40%, over 60% new sessions, new traffic. Okay, that's a good thing. 90 visitors, new visitors, 90 new visitors. That is awesome. You know, the bounce rate there again, that goes back to uh, people leaving without visiting other pages. That's what that means. 1.56, 1 minute, 56 seconds is what people, that's averaging uh, per session on my blog. Okay. So you can just kind of see it, uh, it really helps to have all of this uh, this information all right so here's the uh, and you can see it's up and down you know some days uh, look here I'm getting uh, 10 10 visits 10 sessions 10 visits and then here it drops down to six eight so it's it's kind of up and down there there's a day I didn't have any so what who cares I I don't care because I know that if I keep doing the work, in other words, blogging every day, uh, you know what, I'm going to have the visits and these are going to climb and I'll get to a point where I've got 100 visits a day and then 200 and so on. It, it will happen if you believe it happens, uh, it'll happen and if you do the work. What's the work? Blog every day. A lot of people says, well, what do I blog about? Well, you know, I've got videos on my blog. Go to MikePilcher.net and go down to the bottom of the page. Click on the older post. Go through the older post until you find the videos that shows you how to blog, what to blog about, where to get the information, uh, pictures, other things, how to get traffic to your blog, things like that, and do it for free. All right. So enough of that. Let's let's move on here. So here's here's just more of the stats that we've already went through. This is just a different graph, a different way you can look at it. And you've got other stuff over here you can go through. You know, mobile. See where stuff I've you know I've got several tra uh, people coming from from mobile sessions. All right, so here uh, it just breaks down you know your countries and stuff again. So it's just uh, just another way to take a look at it and see you know what you got going on. So this is basically uh, the end of the video. This is what I wanted to share with you how important it is to have tracking on your blog because well, let's just jump over to my to my actual blogging platform. So um, here you can see I'm logged into my account, my Pilcher, and here's a here's a blog I posted today, just a real quick blog, uh, you know, talking about a bumblebee, and and basically here's here's the story of, about this bumblebee. Um, the whole purpose of this was to to get people to think outside the box because, you know, by by stats, uh, if you will. A bumblebee shouldn't even be able to fly because they're aerodynamically not uh, uh, proper. Uh, their wings are too small. They shouldn't even be able to fly. But you know what? Nobody ever told the bumblebee they couldn't fly. You know, it's the same thing with you for anybody else. How many times have you had somebody say, well, you can't do that. You can't blog or you can't make money online because you don't have the skills. You don't have the education and 
blah, blah, blah. They just keep on telling you all this garbage. Or you can't do that 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 other person is doing because you're, you don't know how. You know, so many of us get trapped and we listen to that garbage. And all we got to do is just refuse to listen to that. And it's kind of like the bumblebee. Shouldn't be able to fly. But nobody ever told him he couldn't. And guess what? They fly fine. And it's the way you can too. You can you can blog. You can make money online. You can do anything that you want to do if you put your mind to it. And that's what I decided many years ago. You know, at uh, at that time, when I first came online, I was 46 years old. Almost 47. And I had a lot of people, including family and friends, that I thought were my friends. Uh, you know what? They told me I couldn't do it. They said, you'll never be able to do it because you're high school educated. You don't have the training. You don't have the knowledge. You don't have the computer skills. I mean, the list was a mile long of all the things they said I couldn't do it. But, you know, I just decided that they wasn't truly my friend or they'd be trying to help me, lift me up, instead of tear me down and tell me why I couldn't do it. And thank God I didn't listen to those negative people because, you know what? For one, I don't hang around them anymore. They're, they're good people. They're just, they're just knuckleheads. They just don't know nothing. All they know is what the world teaches, and that's not who I wanted to hang around anymore. So I started finding successful people that had already done what I was trying to do, make money online. And I just realized that if I could find somebody that was already making $100,000 online, then if I would copy what they did, I could make $100,000 online. Well, then I started looking for people that was making more than that because I wanted to make more than that. So you can only teach what you actually do. So you know what? I found people that uh, had made three, four, five hundred thousand dollars in a single month and more. I thought, okay, now I've got somebody that if I just follow what they do, copy what they do, and just model after them, take advice from them, I can learn what they do and I can eventually do what they do. And you know what? It's working good. So I uh, want to cut this video short and... Uh, I'll see you in the next video.